My name's Jeb. Here's my first attempt at growing lettuce indoors. Tweet, tweet. Well, to start out, we're going to need something to start our seedlings in. And a plastic tub is going to be perfect. And this is a good size. We don't need it too large because they're going to be small plants with short roots. Uh, so we don't want it to be too deep. You know, this is, I don't know, five inches deep or something. And the tote was uh, on clearance. 338. Can't beat that. The lettuce is going to grow in net cups and so we just need to drill some holes with our two inch hole saw into the lid and we should be able to get they need just a little space between them about 15 holes we don't want them too close together or the plastic will break and when you're drilling don't push too hard or you can break a hole in the lid just let the drill do its work and we're going to start right in the middle. Uh, as usual when we're drilling in plastic, we'll drill down till we bite in and then we'll reverse the hole saw to go backwards and then we'll get a nice clean cut. So the drill's bitten in and I've reversed it and we'll finish our hole. Again, don't push too hard. So here's the first net cut. And you can see our, our rough spacing. All right, we'll have one there. We'll have one. Here we go. So we have a little residue on the top. I'm just clean it up with a knife. And I use two hands to do it. All right, I'll try it one handed. You get the idea. And here's our toe. We've got 15 holes in the top should be more than enough and you can see here how the net cups how they sit in there got our net cups in there here's our rock wool seeds pH tester lemon juice bamboo skewer mm, looks good I got a little bookshelf to put my totes on for growing the lettuce the light source I'm using is this overhead fluorescent light. Since I'm indoors, I'm deciding to go with Grodan Grow Cubes, which is rock wool. And hopefully that'll help prevent any issues with fungus gnats or, you know, just having piles of dirt and particles around indoors. I've got two gallons of water in my seedling tote here you can see how the water level just comes about a quarter inch up the net cup and that's where I want it for starting seedlings and also for starting plants with the crack key method here's one of the one inch rock wool cubes in the two inch net cup and it's a little loose but it shouldn't be too big an issue I could always stuff in uh, you know, some cut up rock wool cubes around the sides if it if I have an issue with the plants flopping over. The rock wool is supposedly mildly alkali, and so a, a way to reduce the issues with that is to pH the water, you know, down to around six or six and a half, and then soak the cubes in there. And here's my pH tester. You can see our tap water is pretty hard. It's about 7.7. Here you can see about eight shakes of lemon juice in the two gallons of water. Gets the pH down just below 6.3. And this pH testing and lemon juice, it's a fun thing to do, but I suspect that the lettuce would grow just fine if I skipped these steps. Here I'm putting the rock wool into the water to soak for about 10 minutes. I give it a little stir with my bamboo skewer. And I fished out the rock wool cubes. I test the water again just to see, you know, if it's risen much. 
and the pH doesn't seem to have really changed. So, you know, maybe we lucked out with these cubes or it's hard to detect the change. Just doesn't seem like the, uh, the alkalinity of the Rockwell cubes is that big an issue. My tote has a cool little place where you can write with a dry erase marker. So I mapped out where I'm going to put my seeds. And I've got some extra cilantro and romaine just in case germination is a problem. Here's my cilantro or coriander seeds. And these seeds are large enough. I can just pick them up by hand, drop them in the little pre-drilled hole. Kind of push them in and I'll end up kind of covering them up, teasing out a little bit of the rock hole to cover it so they don't dry out. For the lettuce seeds, I get my skewer damp and I have them laid out on this paper towel. And there's actually a lettuce seed. It's kind of hard to see on the end of the skewer. The water just makes it stick and you can just slide it into the, the pre-drilled hole. And I put two seeds in per cube, just in case one doesn't germinate, and then I'll thin it out later. Here they are, all in a row. My little babies, are they gonna make it? I love you! And let's just see how our germination goes. So all the seeds are in the rock wool, and here you can see the water level I have it at. It may be just a tad high, but you know, the seeds aren't sitting in water, it just kind of wicks up through the rock wool. So it looks pretty good so far. And already on day three, uh, most of the lettuce has already come up, which is pretty impressive. Here on day six, you can see some of the legginess that is becoming an obvious issue. And here's actually a tiny sprout coming out of the first uh, cilantro seed. And germination rates on cilantro for me have not been great, so I'm really excited to see that the cilantro is germinating. And here on day nine, almost all of the cilantro has come up, all the lettuce has come up, you know, many of them with two plants. So germination's been great, but the plants just don't have enough light, and that's why they're, they're growing so tall, and uh, that looks like it's going to become more of a problem. So two weeks after planting the seeds, I've you know, come to the realization that the light is not going to work. The plants are stretched out. And, you know, this, this poor uh, cilantro is like four inches tall. I think the main issue with the lights was the distance. It's about six feet down. And also, these are 4,000K for the color temperature. And that's not ideal for plant growth either. Well, this attempt at my indoor lettuce has failed. It's just not enough light. And uh, I've been trying to grow lettuce since about May, unsuccessfully in the heat. And this failure, it's like, it's been like being in a dark tunnel. But you know, at the end of every dark tunnel, there's a light. Thanks for watching.